Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding hepatitis. So what is mean by hepatitis? Hepatitis is the inflammation of the liver. It is the inflammation of the liver. So mainly we can see regarding hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D and hepatitis E. Five type of hepatitis are there. That is hepatitis A, B, C, D and E. Okay. So in most of the hepatitis cases, the SGPT, SGOT and ammonia level will be elevated. In most of the hepatitis cases, SGPT, SGOT and ammonia level will be elevated. And regarding the prevention of all hepatitis, hand washing is very important. For your exam, you have to keep it in mind. Regarding the prevention of all hepatitis, hand washing is very important. We can see one by one. First, we will see regarding hepatitis B. Okay. First, we will see regarding hepatitis B because there is a connection between hepatitis B, C and D. Later, we will see regarding A and E. First, we will see regarding hepatitis B. So, hepatitis B, mainly the mode of transmission is blood, blood products. That is through blood transfusion or contact with the blood of the infected person. Also, with unsafe or unprotected sexual contact and IV drug abusers as well as from mother to child also to hemodialysis patient. So the highest risk of getting hepatitis B, this is also a question for you that is hemodialysis. Hemodialysis patients are highest risk of getting hepatitis B. So the mode of transmission is blood and blood product during the blood transfusion as well as unprotected sex with the infected person as well as IV drug abusers, those who are using the drugs, they will use the same needle, an infected person will use the needle with the same needle, other person also will use. So he will also get the infection, but highest risk is for the hemodialysis patient. Clear. Regarding the incubation period of hepatitis B, that is very, very important. Repeatedly, they are asking the question that is 6 to 24 week. Okay. 6 to 24 week. Sometimes the answer will be in days that is 42 to 168 days. Okay. 6 to 24 week or 42 to 168 days is the incubation period of hepatitis B. And regarding the hepatitis B, if a person is hepatitis B positive, an antigen will be present in the body of the hepatitis B positive patient that is hepatitis B positive patient that is HBSAG. HBSAG that is hepatitis B surface antigen. For your exam, question will come hepatitis B positive patient which antigen is present that is hepatitis B surface antigen or HBS AG. Okay. Now regarding the prevention of hepatitis B, we can prevent with hand washing that is important as well as during the blood transfusion screening of the blood that is checking the blood for the donor. If anyone is donating the blood, we have to check whether that person is hepatitis B positive. Then only we have to do the blood transfusion as well as vaccine is available for hepatitis B. With vaccine, we can prevent hepatitis B. Also, if the pregnant woman, you have to keep it in mind from the mother to child also hepatitis B will get. Okay, from mother to child also transmission chance is there. So, how to prevent if a pregnant woman is hepatitis B positive? Pregnant woman is hepatitis B positive. How to prevent the occurrence of hepatitis B to the child very important question for you soon after delivery okay soon after delivery within 12 hour the time also they are asking within 12 hour you have to give first dose of hepatitis b vaccine as well as hepatitis b immunoglobulin should be administered okay if the carrying woman is hepatitis b positive to prevent the occurrence of hepatitis b to the child what we have to do soon after the delivery within 12 hour we have to give 
first dose of hepatitis B vaccine as well as hepatitis B immunoglobulin also we have to administer. So, we can reduce the risk of getting hepatitis B to the child. Okay. Next, we can see regarding hepatitis C. Okay. Hepatitis C. So, hepatitis C is known as the purely blood borne hepatitis. It is a question for you which is the purely blood borne hepatitis that is hepatitis C. Okay. Mainly, it is transmitted from blood and blood product also through sexual contact but mainly from blood and blood product it will get to one person. So, here the complication of hepatitis C is liver cancer and cirrhosis of liver. Okay. So, the question will be more chance of getting hepatitis C to which patient that is liver cirrhosis and liver cancer patient because the complication of hepatitis C is, uh, is a chance okay, from hepatitis C it will lead to cirrhosis of liver or liver cancer. So, whenever you are seeing liver cancer and liver cirrhosis with hepatitis that is hepatitis C will be the option and regarding the incubation period hepatitis C that is 2 to 10 week okay. and vaccine is not available for hepatitis C very important keep it in mind vaccine is not available for hepatitis C okay. Now, next one is hepatitis D okay regarding the hepatitis D hepatitis D will occur as a complication of hepatitis B if the hepatitis B is not treated properly as a complication of hepatitis B D is occurring. So, the mode of transmission is same as same as hepatitis B that is blood and blood product IV drug abusers unprotected sex then hemodialysis as well as from mother to child. But if hepatitis B positive if it is not treated properly as a complication only hepatitis D will occur and regarding the incubation period that is 2 to 8 week is the incubation period of hepatitis D and regarding the prevention same only hand washing is important as well as vaccine is available which vaccine we have to give hepatitis B vaccine hepatitis B vaccine if you are giving there is no hepatitis B so there is no complication the complication of hepatitis B is hepatitis D so we have to give hepatitis B vaccine so vaccine is available for hepatitis D the vaccine we are giving is hepatitis B vaccine clear now regarding B C and D we have discussed it is the mode of transmission is blood and blood products clear B C D B is occurring sorry D is occurring as a complication of B blood and blood products blood and blood products blood and blood products. Now we can see regarding hepatitis A. So hepatitis A is also known as infectious hepatitis very important for you for your exam question is asking which is the infectious hepatitis that is hepatitis A and the mode of transmission 90 percentage of the question paper you can see mode of transmission of the hepatitis A that is fico oral route. Fico oral route is the mode of transmission of hepatitis A okay and it is mainly affecting the young children. This hepatitis A that is mainly affecting the young children and regarding the incubation period that is 2 to 6 week is the incubation period of hepatitis A okay and regarding the prevention hand washing is important as well as discard the urine as well as the stool of the infected person properly discard the urine and stool of the infected person properly because the mode of transmission is fecal oral route clear and vaccine is available hepatitis A vaccine is available that is also a part of prevention. Now regarding hepatitis E last one hepatitis E hepatitis E also the mode of transmission is fecal oral route. 
hepatitis E also the mode of transmission is fecal oral route. So, hepatitis A and hepatitis E fecal oral route. Hepatitis E is known as waterborne hepatitis. Question for you for your exam which is the waterborne hepatitis that is hepatitis E. Hepatitis E is the waterborne hepatitis. Mainly it is affecting the travelers. They are traveling to the country where the drainage system is not proper. So, indirectly you will get the question for your exam. A person is traveling from America or from Europe to India, Pakistan or African countries or to Latin America or to Bangladesh. Which hepatitis he will get? For travelers, keep it in mind, for travelers more chance of getting hepatitis is hepatitis E. Okay, so whenever you are seeing a question for the travelers which hepatitis they will get that is hepatitis E, it is known as waterborne hepatitis. So, regarding hepatitis A and E, that is mode of transmission is fecal oral route and hepatitis E is the waterborne hepatitis. Regarding B, C, D, the mode of transmission is blood and blood products. And highest risk of hemodialysis patient, which hepatitis? That is hepatitis B. And for liver cancer or cirrhosis of liver patient, hepatitis C. And as a complication of hepatitis B, that is hepatitis D. Vaccine is not available for hepatitis C. Also keep it in mind for hepatitis E also, vaccine is not available. Vaccine is not available for hepatitis C and vaccine is not available for hepatitis E also and regarding the incubation period of hepatitis E is 2 to 9 week. That is all regarding hepatitis. We will meet soon with another video. Till that time, thank you and goodbye.